Welcome to the Department of Commerce Electronic Certificate of Origin System. In this video, we will be showing users how to use the Registered Exporter System VEX, through the Electronic Certificate of Origin for companies who are already registered with the VEX system with the Department of Commerce. If you are a company who is new to the VEX system and do not have a VEX registration number, go ahead and skip this video as your process of being onboarded will be described in the next one. This video is exclusively for companies who have a VEX number and wishes to onboard themselves with the Electronic Certificate of Origin system. Now to start things off, let's go ahead and log into the system. Now a couple of things all exporters must know is that only certain types of products can be added to the VEX system. The steps on adding products are explained in detail in the previous videos, so go ahead and watch those if you require a step-by-step -step explanation. The most important thing is that products that are exported to the European Union countries under the GSP agreement can be selected for VEX. Furthermore, these products must have a Department of Commerce approved cost statement, material sheet or an affidavit before they can be selected for VEX. I will now proceed to click on the VEX registration tile. This directs me to the VEX registration page, where I am asked a question of whether I am already an exporter registered with VEX. If you are already registered with VEX, go ahead and click the Yes button. You will be prompted to enter the VEX registration number and upload your existing VEX certificate. Now once that is done, go ahead and click on Submit. I am now directed to the Add Product page. In here you will be able to select products for your VEX registration. Now as stated before, only products that are for EU countries under the GSP with the Department of Commerce approved cost statements, material sheets or affidavits will appear in this drop down list. If your product does not appear in this drop down list, please make sure that the aforementioned prerequisites are fulfilled. Another important thing that is worth noting is that since you are already registered with VEX, the Department of Commerce expects you to select all your existing VEX registered products and add them in this particular step. Make sure to pay due diligence with this process because if you add a new product that is not VEX registered and not contained in the VEX certificate you just uploaded, then the Department of Commerce will not be able to review these products and produce you a brand new certificate. So make sure to add your existing VEX products in this particular step. Now once that is completed, go ahead and click the checkbox agreeing to the fact that all the products you just added are already VEX registered products and no new products were selected. And with that we will hit submit. And now I can go ahead and click on VEX registration tile once more. And I am now directed to the same add product page. In here, I can now add the new products I wish to add to my VEX certificate. Once I select a few new products to add and hit submit, I will be directed back to the dashboard. Now if I try clicking on the VEX registration tile, I am unable to do so as I must wait for the Department of Commerce to review my newly added products. I will now skip ahead in time to show you what the reviewal of the Department of Commerce may look like. I will receive an email such as this confirming the addition of the new products along with the brand new VEX certificate that was produced for me by the Department of Commerce. Now if I go back to the dashboard and click on the VEX registration tile, I will be directed to this file upload screen. I am required to upload a scanned copy of the VEX certificate after I place the signature of the authorized person. I cannot proceed to add new VEX products until I complete this step and receive the final confirmation from the Department of Commerce. So let me go ahead and place the authorized person signature on the new VEX certificate that I received in the email, scan it and upload it for Department of Commerce review. I will once again skip ahead in time. The Department of Commerce will place their signatures on the VEX certificate and will send me an email with the VEX certificate as an attachment. 
This concludes a single cycle within the VEX registration process. I can now proceed to the dashboard and click on the VEX registration tile once more if I wish to add new products. And I will have to go to the product registration cycle described above once again to successfully obtain a brand new VEX certificate. This concludes the demonstration of VEX registration for existing VEX companies with the Department of Commerce. Thank you for watching.